Heads in for the Wizard. They're ready to run. The ninth, 1600, dispatched here on Matheson Road. Gate Spring now, they're off and they're racing. Dawn Amada La Beyond of Pink and Grey with the first of them away and also out well as Wild Fusion. Kia Ora Star pushing up down on the inside for Yule San Crispino right over the speed early. Cocky Dot out near the middle of the course going forward with Uncle Lino after the start. Their nice go settling towards the middle being followed by She's a Light getting back into the field when they get going is Wee Ripper travelling out to the riverside of the course followed by Stockyard Gossip back there with Captain Jack near the Second last is Lawfee and the tail ender is Duckfeet. Pink and Grey took it up. 1,000 to go. Led the way from Uncle Lino. Striding around them three wide. Looking to get up outside the pacemaker and give San Crispino some cover. Cocky Dodd posted pretty wide, however. On the fence, Dawn Amada at the 800 is next of all. Being followed after a length to La Beyonder. Adrian McPhee outside of it. Then in the centre came Kia Ora Star. They're being followed by Wild Fusion poking up near the middle from She's a Light there. Captain Jack climbing up onto heels, has to steady through the head, high into the air. Around them goes Stockyard Gossip. Back there in the field, nice go. Duck feet getting up near the rail from Wee Ripper. Last of all is Lawfee. Pikey will have to call for the pogo stick to win from there, you'd think. Around the corner, Pink and Grey straightened up, too clear. Getting around now, off its heels into the clear. Door to Marta. This allows Kia Ora Star to shoot through now, but then Bork for a run, has to switch back inside of heels. She's a light. Adrian McPhee are coming down the outside with their runs. Over on the outside, Adrian McPhee, she's a light. And Kia Ora Star, she's a light. Kia Ora Star, she's a light. She's a light. One and a half head, Kia Ora Star. In behind them, Dawn Amata. Adrian McPhee peaked on its run wide out and making ground. Stockyard gossip, followed then by Wild Fusion. Dawn Amata, Lawfee from the tail. Then Captain Jack next home behind them. Nice go. Then San Crispino, La Beyonder. Cocky Dot Uncle Lino well back and so's Wee Ripper. Number eight is the winner, She's a Light, ridden by Pat Carberry. A winning double for Pat, who won the opening race for the day on the two-year-old Sassy Trader. Kia Ora Star got right up near the rails, then got balked for a run. Kira Yule had to switch back off heels inside, just losing a little bit of momentum. She's a Light had that momentum out near the middle, and the Tavistock Mare goes on to make it back-to-back -back victories. Number eight, She's a Light. Trained by Alan Matthews, ridden by Patrick Carberry. First, second placing will go the way of six Kia Aura star Kira Yule for trainer Michael Lane. And waiting for third, that number to be declared, Dawn Amata was thereafter looming, joining Pink and Grey at the 200 metre mark before she's a light. Adrian McPhee loomed up wide out and then peaked ever so quickly over the final 50. And uh, Dawn Amata's in that mix. Wild Fusion hit the line well also. And from well off them, Lawfee from last on the corner was also making up good progress. The winner raced by the White Diamond Syndicate, D. Neil S. Neil, A and C, Govers, J and A, Bowers, by Tavistock from the Keeper Mayor, Keeper Light, Alan Matthews, Patrick Carberry, Six Second, Kia Ora Star, Kira Yule, Blackfriars, Kia Ora Miss Gelding for Michael Lane, Third four, Dawn Amata, by my admiration from Delicate Snip, Chris Graham, the rider for Brock Luthwaite, and 15, Adrian McPhee has just got fourth out near the middle of the course. 15 is fourth, Adrian McPhee, and fifth is at number 10, Wild Fusion. A short neck, a length into quarter margins, and the 1600 run there in 136.5, 735.84, the closing 600 there to race number nine of the day. So Alan Matthews has this mare. She's a light in very good form with five wins now from 13 starts and she's won three of her last six. On to the final race for the day. The Northern Mazda Driving Believing Handicap will round out the afternoon's card at 4.45 with nine and ten out. Just act natural and also... Massimo. I'm going Pims Royale to uh, round out a good day for the Fernie Stable to beat six Laver Rod with uh, Patrick Carberry shooting for a treble and 11 speeding Comet ahead of number four Alpha Sky. Five, six, 11 for our selections to race number 10, rounding out what's been an absolutely action packed day of racing. We'll go here at 4.45.
have Alan Matthews and Al, a fortnight ago we were standing here talking about this mare after a win at 1400. You suggested that a mile would be no problem but one thing that you said that was very notable was that Paddy realised in his first run ride on her that she didn't like the whip or, or particularly behind the saddle. How was that for you just watching then when it would have gone against every instinct he had to just keep the whip in the forward motion? Yeah, Paddy, you know, he's not frightened to give him a crack and uh, it's quite interesting without the crowd here. He's only a little fella, but you can hear him yelling halfway up the straight. Halfway up the straight, you would have heard him in the next suburb. He was uh, very vocal. You must be really proud of the effort of your mare today. Yeah, look, she's a lovely little horse. She, she's been a, a bit flighty early on. We used to send her home for a spell and she wouldn't eat. And then we'd bring her back into work, bring her back home and she wouldn't eat. So now she just stays at home. She lives in a grass paddock. Um, we just don't annoy her much. And, um, you know, I thought the f she's bred to get a mile, but I thought she might have just been a bit hot for it. But uh, Patty said, you know, need to ride her back a little bit. She was racing in the first two or three early in her career. Uh, but, look, he's riding her very well, and she's just a tough little mare. She's added a real string to her bow now, the way she's able to finish her races off. Does she stay in work? She has had a few runs this campaign. Yeah, pro look, whether we give her a, a cup, as I say, she lives in the paddock, so giving her a week or two off is not a problem, but um, it's hard to tip horses out when they're in good form. Absolutely. Let's hope she can make it three in a row. Well done. Be nice. Thank you. Alan Matthews, the trainer of She's a Light. And, uh...